My name is Amul, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Sometimes customers ask me about passing query string parameters from a client to the backend Lambda or HTTP endpoint via API Gateway. Today I'm going to show you how it can be done. Let's get started. As we know, there are two types of integrations for Lambda and HTTP endpoints. First kind is proxy integration and second kind is non-proxy integration. While proxy implementation is the recommended approach as it simplifies management of the API and reduces API response times, non-proxy implementation forces the use of mapping templates. Although templates are supported with use in API Gateway, they use VTL, which is a language that support can't help troubleshoot or write. Customers who want to customize templates for their use case must have knowledge of the VTL language. I will clarify the two types of integration briefly. First one, proxy integration. When a client submits an API request, API Gateway passes the raw request to the backend as is, except that the order of the request parameters is not preserved. Request parameters can be referred as headers, query strings, path parameters, and so on. Second kind is non-proxy integration. With this integration, you must be sure that the input to the backend is supplied as the integration request payload. This implies that you as an API developer must map the query string parameters along with any input data the client supplied as the request parameters into the proper integration request body using a mapping template. For proxy, open API Gateway Management Console. Choose the API. Choose the resources. Choose the configured HTTP method. Choose integration request. Select HTTP or Lambda as integration type. Check the box for use HTTP proxy integration for HTTP backend or use Lambda proxy integration for Lambda backend. Select the HTTP method supported by the backend. Provide an endpoint URL. For example, a pet store endpoint. Select the Lambda function. Accept the other default settings. Choose save. Deploy the API. For Lambda non-proxy integration, you must be sure that the endpoint to the Lambda function is supplied as the integration request payload. This implies that uh, you as an API developer must map query string parameters along with any input data the client supplied as request parameters into the proper integration request body using a mapping template. The following are the steps. Open the API Gateway Console. Choose the API. Choose the resources. Choose the configured HTTP method. In the method execution pane, choose method request. Expand the URL query string parameters section. Choose add query string. Enter foo for name, select the required option and choose the check mark icon to save the setting. Select caching option as per requirement. Return to the method execution pane and then choose integration request. Expand the mapping template section. Choose add mapping template. Enter application slash JSON for content type. Choose the check mark icon to save the setting. In the pop-up that appears, choose yes, secure this integration. Check the recommended when there are no templates defined for request body pass through. Replace the generated mapping script in the mapping template editor with the following.
input dot params returns the value of method request parameter from the path query string or header value given a parameter names string foo input dot params returns the value of a method request parameter from the path query string or header value search in that order given a parameter name string foo this given template will assign the value returned by input dot params to a variable named foo which can be retrieved at the backend choose save deploy the api non proxy http non proxy integration this is similar to lambda non proxy integration you as an api developer must configure the method request to add the query string parameter then you update the integration request to map the query string parameter from the method request to the backend request follow these steps open the api gateway management console choose the api choose the resources choose the configured http method in the method execution pane choose method request expand the url query string parameter section choose add query string enter the name of the query string parameter and then choose the check mark icon to save the setting go back to the method execution pane and choose integration request expand the url query string parameter section By default, the method request query string parameters are mapped to the like named integration request query string parameters. To map a different method request parameter to the corresponding integration request parameter, choose the pencil icon for the parameter to edit the mapping expression. To map a method request parameter to a different integration request parameter, first choose the delete icon to remove the existing integration request parameter and then choose add query string to specify a new name. and the desired method request parameter mapping expression now finally deploy the api thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at aws